In this morning's Health Watch, secret signs of stress. We all know about dry mouth and sweaty palms, but there are hidden signals your body sends out as well. And our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to help us decode them. Good stress, morning, Harry. Not good, right? <laughs> It can be, and that's really one of the big myths, is that stress is a normal physiologic response mm -hmm. in our body and our brain to a stimulation, okay? And people have heard of the fight or flight response oh, okay, in sure. the body. That's usually with a threat, but any stress, whether it's a physical mm -hmm. or emotional or psychological mm -hmm. one, can produce a response. And for some people, that might be a positive or beneficial thing. It's not always negative. All right, let's talk about some of the different secret signs that you may not recognize, including Cravings. Yeah, cravings. Well, you know what? Desserts is stressed reversed. <laughs> so think about that one. Stressed okay. is desserts backwards. I like it. Okay, listen, people know when they're, they crave comfort foods, mm. and there's an unclear, um, probably complicated, intricate mechanism that goes on in the brain, probably has to do with some carbohydrates right, and right. serotonin, which mm -hmm. is a feel good neurochemical. Yeah. But listen, you want to keep it under control. It's a, a neuro little physiological response. Exactly, yeah, Harry. Okay. A little chocolate, a little ice cream might make you feel better. A lot, not a good Not thing. such a good, uh, not over the long term, skin problems. I I think I, we get that, right? This is huge. You yeah. know, the skin is the largest organ in the body. So when you have a skin problem, especially if it's severe or chronic, it mm -hmm. comes and goes, or it's really affecting a large part of the body, you want to look at an overall diffuse body process instead of, you know, looking at that one pimple and thinking just of your face. Right. We know that when you're stressed, your body can trigger the release of certain hormones. Right. They, in turn, can cause both inflammation mm -hmm. and increase in, in oil buildup in your skin. And you want to realize that it's your body telling you, I'm stressed. Time to chill. Uh, you get sores in your mouth sometimes? Yeah, listen, this could be anything from psoriasis, eczema, acne, cold sores. Mm -hmm. Again, you want to really listen to your body. This is your body saying, this is an overall process, and I'm showing it to you in my largest organ. Stre I really believe this to be true, that stress exacerbates allergic reactions. It is true, and again, not really clear why. There is some thinking that a, a certain protein involved in the allergic response mm -hmm. can be triggered when your body is stressed. If you know you suffer from allergies and you find them particularly worse at a stressful time, you want to deal with the stress, not just the allergic Here's reaction. your big surprise, though. Weekend headaches. You're stressed all week, and then on the weekend? Right. And people see this after big exams. They'll get a migraine after the event, after the test. So again, you want to, if you know that you're subject or prone to mm -hmm. migraines or those kind of headaches, you want to take a little bit of extra TLC after the fact so yeah. that you can try to prevent it. And then we have one here that says hair loss is a sign of stress. What do you think about that, Harry? <laughs> you never seem stressed to me. <laughs> no, never, ever. <laughs> Deep down inside. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you so much. You bet. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.